Welcome, I'm Aloxav and in today's video I'm going to talk about the survival tool and the detector, which are the two basic tools that you need to start the game. Once you crash land, this is what happens in the beginning of the game, you can find the survival tool right in front of you here on the floor and also a flashlight. But if you don't, you can press tab and I'm actually going to trash it and you can open up the survival constructor on the right hand side and craft the survival tool and the detector as they don't take any resources at all. Once they're done, they show up here on the output box. You can place them on your tool belt. And the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the survival tool. So if you right click, it shows three options. The defense mode, which is this little laser which allows you to protect against enemies. We have the resource mode, which allows you to mine and collect logs. And we also have the salvage mode, which allows you to salvage buildings, because this is a voxel game. For example, I'm going to select resource mode, and I'm going to harvest this little tree here. You can see it has hit points on my right hand side on the bottom. And it provides me with plant fibers, and they go sh straight into your inventory. Also with resource mode, you can harvest these little stones. And once again, it goes straight into your inventory. And I even got an explorer's token, because I just found crust stones. There are also trees of different sizes, and still using the resource mode on your survival tool, we can harvest them too. Unlike the small trees, they actually provide wood logs, which later I can turn into plant fiber. So those big trees work just the same. Another thing that we can do is also dig to the ground. Because the ore deposits will be found underneath the ground and you're gonna have to dig. Since you don't have a drill, the survival tool will do the job in the beginning. So you're walking around and you don't know where to go. You have the detector. And if you select it, you can ping it with left click. And it is a short range de detector. It does not tell you what is around you, but it shows you that there are stuff around you. So this will not stand forever. And once you discover something by getting close to it, it will remain on the map. For example, I already discovered this copper deposit, so it will remain on the map. I'm just going to give it a few seconds and you see that the things will disappear. There they go, they disappear, but if you open up the map on M, you see that what I've discovered already, like this POI and this copper deposits, will remain visible on the map. But in order to find them again, I have to ping it again. And it seems like I discovered another wreckage. And I gained some points because you gain the points by collecting stuff from the ground, by mining, by finding stuff. So let's check out that wreckage over there. Here's the wreckage that I found, and since I'm close to it, I discovered it. So this will remain on the map from now on. And what you can do with this thing is you can actually pick up the survival tool, you can right click and choose salvage mode, and you can salvage these blocks. And we get steel plates and they go straight into your inventory. You can get other types of resources. This is mostly steel, but if you find, for example, windows, you'll get glass planes, and you can also get all kinds of different things. Last but not least, if you encounter enemies as these little spiders here, you can go with the survival tool and choose defense mode. This is a very rudimentary weapon, but before you have real weapons, this can be a lifesaver. And you can actually harvest them by pressing F, or you can just shift F and get it automatically. As you can see, I got myself some meat, so this will be very useful because you can find these uh, hostile aliens once you're out and about exploring. So that's how we use the survival tool and the detector. Very useful tools until you find or are able to craft better ones, but hang on tight to them. But at the same time, if you lose them, you can always craft them again, because they don't take any resources at all. Thank you for watching, and until next time.